So I'm literally on the toilet and look who comes in my house while I'm taking a poop. Bro, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Smells <laughs> over. I got that kind of <clears throat> wow, wow. Yeah, we're getting that snot back in the throat here. Welcome to another episode of Against Farming as Lady. Oh, Jesus, dude. It's really hard to just start vlogging. So let's let's try this again. Take two here. Welcome to another episode of Against the Formula, ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys doing? I'm gonna try to make this intro very short and get right into it. So in today's episode, I really wanted to show you guys what I am getting into. You know, the goal when I started these Against the Formula episodes was to show you guys my journey in following my passion in film. Today, you're gonna see some inside scoop of what I have failed to film. But the main thing I wanna show you guys is my experience in the Sacramento State film program so it should be a fun day and if you're interested in getting into film and film production you're gonna kind of get a taste of it today to see what it's like to go to Sacramento State Film School So we are out here in Old Sacramento. I'm taking you guys out here on set for production. Today we are doing something called a Vox Pop. If you guys don't know what that is, that's like a, a man on the street interview where we're asking someone one question and one question only. But before I get to that, let's let's meet the production crew for today. My name is Trevor Potter. We're out here on this beautiful Sunday. It's very cold and chilly, but you know, your boy's getting these uh, people to come answer questions tell them about the youtube channel face. tell them about the youtube channel though real fast oh yeah i got my own youtube channel it's called the vbc click the channel uh what's it called <laughs> the channel knows. box link yeah this guy right here though i met this guy in this class it's the non-studio video production class that's one of the classes i had this semester this guy tells me his youtube channel he has ninety-four thousand subscribers bro. secret is really just doing what you want to do right yeah and working hard right yeah my my advice is just get started because when i first started doing youtube it was like on a gopro hero 3 see see that's what with it's no at. mic hey get this guy to 100k man yeah, get this definitely, to, definitely i'll, I'll link the channel all right bro and then how many subscribers you, up, you this guy has a million up? subscribers on no, his like 2.5 <laughs> dog <laughs> now nah, we out here at sac state we are here putting this video together we're gonna kill it today on the box properly hey, hey what's bro. the question though what's the question you gotta... uh, what is your definition of success and do you think you need college to be successful yes or no and why perfect. these are perfect questions for my vlog and we're getting great responses hopefully i can throw some clips in from what we get into the vlog so We're here playing Fortnite, and uh, we're jumping on that bus. It's free. I didn't know it was free for a long time, so I'm jumping on it right now. Kirk Langley here at my house, of course, being Kramer and sitting on my bed and just eating all my food. So, what up, what up? Okay, I'm not gonna distract you. Okay, you 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 focus. Yeah, yeah. All right. You tell the so I'll tell the situation right now. So Kirk is playing Fortnite right here, and he bet me this: if he wins before me, because I haven't won yet, he's in the top 21 right now, and I've never won this game. I've gotten the top 10 a couple times, but if he wins, I have to buy him dinner we're jumping on the hype late first off our friend Cedric Flores is obsessed with this game very good player by the way he told us about it Jake hopped on I don't really play video games so I came to Jake's house wait I don't really play shooting games so this is like my third time I guess playing ever and I'm in the top 20 so we'll see how it goes I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what Fortnite is but what happens is it's basically hunger games there's a hundred people that got thrown in on this island you have to find weapons and all this kind of stuff to stay alive and then there's this boundary line that shrinks every couple minutes and it allows all the players to get together and kill <laughs> it sounds bad kill each other and then only one can survive so basically hunger games and to be in oh he's top 16 now out of 100 is pretty good and kirk never plays video games too so all right so we got the huge professional sony camera too i don't I, I'm, I wanna vlog with this. But we got one of these, we got the Zeppelin mic set up, and we have a bunch of equipment. It's crazy. We're wrapping up here, but I wanna ask these guys what their opinion is about 
success in college. You know, it's perfect for the vlog, against the formula vlog. Leave your answer down below what you think about it too. Trevor. Do you need college to be successful? Certain things I think you need college to be successful. Medical stuff, accounting stuff, number stuff, science stuff. I recommend probably going to college, getting a degree. But creative wise, things you come up with in your brain, marketing, entrepreneurship, working hard, I don't think you need a college degree for it. But it helps though, like in this day and age, it's, it feels like just a piece of paper, but I guess it helps when you get a job. But everyone has different routes, so yeah. it really just depends. Everything in life is not so this, that equals that. It's 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 much more complex, so that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, success is a relative term, so it just depends on what you think. For you, if you need that, then yeah, I mean, it's not for everybody. And it's hard, and it takes a long time. We're seniors at Sac State, and it's been a long road. I know a lot of people that wouldn't make it. You know, if it's something that you go into in a specific field, then, you know, go for it. But creative wise, if you want to get out there and start making money and build it from the ground up, do it now, you know? Don't hesitate, don't wait, you know, pull the trigger. But for me, I wanted it. I wanted it to just make me worth more, to increase my worth and my value. So for me, it was a good move. And everybody around, everybody I know, it's increased their value. It's just a, it's a relative term, so it's up to you, I mean, if you like going to school still, then yeah. If you hate school, then no. Dive it up, dive it up, dive it up. Good work today. He's in the top 10. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta get in one of these houses, man. Bro, I'm in the top seven, I'm in the top seven. Oh my gosh. Oh no. He's stuck. <laughs> Press X. I am, look. I'm stuck. Bro, I'm in the top five. You gotta have it. You gotta want it. I do want it. Let's get it then. Got out. He got out. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. No! if you need to, but I can't stay to watch you. It's the wrong thing to do. I feel like I just went to the NCAA tournament and just lost on a buzzer beater. That was horrible. All right. Continuing on with the film stuff and the film classes, I have one more assignment that I wanted to pick Clay up for. We also have a shoot later. But this assignment is for my video production management class. And I have to pretend that I'm a location scout. I have this mock-up thing that my professor gave me and it has five different scenes that I have to go around and take pictures of and then put it into a document and pitch to him why we need to shoot at this location. So we're gonna go around town and find some spots. So the first location Location. The first scene that we have to accomplish is exterior movie theater. My professor had told me, imagine maybe you going on like a first date or our characters are going on a first date or a family going on, you know, an outing. So we need to find a location that is perfect for that scene. The second scene we have to look for is an exterior restaurant patio scene. Where would you set up a scene and what location would it be in Sacramento? And we found Pretty good spots. I like the, the colorful chairs right here. And this outdoor setting is pretty nice if, if I were to shoot something here. All right, we're on scene three, where we have to find a location where an illegal transaction would take place. And Clay found the perfect spot, because I think- It's right here. I think he goes here to make illegal transactions. Is that right what there, you- Right there, behind the dumpster. Perfect. The last scene that we have to get is where two guys would go to get really fat, Maybe a fast food restaurant. What better place to do that than? I just found a hair in my fry. Oh. You see it? What? It's chilling right there. Look at that. Oh, nice. Can you pick that up? There it is. What? Kind of. It's all right. It's not that bad. Oh, no. Oh, Delicious. My God. Delicious. Eat up, extra protein, Ooh. bro. Extra protein. So we're taking Fortnite to the next level. Josh is all the way in LA and we wanted to play together, but he sold his PS4. So we're making it work right now. The Fortnite on the Big Mac, and then we got Josh on the FaceTime. Let's go, bro. We're about to go in. We're joining the hype hard, guys. But I'm really happy this is working right now. All right, quick update. We're we're pretty close. We're in the we're in the top ten here. Uh, there's only one person left. We did a huge squad, so we're rolling deep. Oh, he's right here, he's right here. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Dude, 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 dude. Oh my God. All right, it's up to you. It's up to you, holy crap. It's up to you. It's up to you, man. Oh my God. Come on, man. You got this, watch out. Yeah, here, I'm here, I'm here. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, no way. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. 
Oh my god! Oh, uh, oh man. Oh god. Uh, oh gosh. Uh, it's it's frozen. It's frozen. Uh, um, um, it's frozen. All right. Uh, uh. Jake went to the bathroom, so I figured I'd turn the camera on and. And that is all she wrote for that day, guys. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to get as deep as possible as I could during that day. I saw two assignments I had to do for both my film classes. And overall, it was just a great day doing what I love. I really wish I could show you the interviews that we captured that day about your definition of success and if you need college to be successful. A lot of the people who we interviewed explained what Against the Formula is. College is what you're supposed to do, right? But it's not necessary. It really depends on what you want to do. My definition of success is whatever makes you happy. Whatever it takes to reach that level of happiness in your life, that's success to me. So I find success in doing things I love, hanging out with friends, hanging out with family, hanging out with my girlfriend Serena, doing anything that gets me closer to my dream in film. Just working on films or anything that has to do with videos makes me happy. So I'm gonna be successful no matter what. These moments and these little instances that I'm showing you guys are stepping stones of my journey to success. Now I know that might sound really cheesy because it is, but it's whatever you think success is in your life. So this won't be the last time you'll see a bunch of film production and a taste of what I'm doing in school. I'm really getting more comfortable vlogging around my film colleagues because vlogging is actually a thing now. So they're comfortable seeing me talking to a camera, which is cool. So stay tuned to see more film stuff, whether it be storyboards, being on set, or being an actor, or being an extra, because I really want to document these moments. Big shout out to Clay, Trevor, and Marcel. Go check them out in the link below. Really talented people. And go find your success, man. What What's your definition of success? Go put that in the comments below. My camera is so heavy, so my arm is hurting really bad. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign off here. Jake Soriano. I got that